Hey my loves, I'm Elisa. Welcome to the Shameless Academy, where we bridge the gap between sexuality and spirituality, and we answer some of our deepest questions with love. Today I want to share with you the biggest lesson about love that I've learned from my grandpa, who just passed away. And the biggest lesson about love that I learned from him is commitment. Exactly. Commitment. Something that appears to be so out of trend and long forgotten by the new generations, right? The easiness with which we give up onto each other, our need for independence, our perfectionism when we seek new partners in love and life. All these things, we can see them as the signs for spiritual evolution, but our grandparents would rather call them as being a sign for weak character and a lack of real wisdom in life. Because love is not easy and relationships are not easy, but they are worth the fight, aren't they? A lot of us nowadays, when we go through challenges in our intimate relationships, we often think to ourselves, you know what? I deserve better. I will find someone better. And while that is true, in a relationship where abuse is involved and where stepping out of that relationship is the best thing that you can do for yourself and for your partner, what's sad is that a lot of us break up too fast, too easy, and out of convenience and the laziness or the resistance to learn the lessons that we are here to learn through our partner and through our relationship. Right? And when we run from a relationship, we might also run from our own growth. Because you know what? We are all assessed here on this planet with those people who help us grow and expand the most. With those people who help our souls reach their highest potential. Either we like them or not. Either they are easy or not. They are in our lives for a reason and opening our hearts to them when all we want is to run might bring the best out in us, my loves. Because love is a practice that hurts and heals at the same time. Love is a practice that hurts and heals at the same time. And my grandpa and grandma have taught me that the secret of long-lasting love and marriage is commitment choosing that person over and over again despite all odds so it's not the fiery passion at the beginning it's not the compatibility between the two of you but your commitment and your partner's commitment to make it work to make it work talking through the hardships walking through the hardships praying through the hardships laughing through the hardships, learning from the hardships, and coming together stronger than ever out of those hardships. I feel that my grandparents had this belief that regardless of what two people go through, it is always you and me against the problem and not you against me, which makes all the difference. And as I look back at the old generations, I just feel that we're better equipped to live the love stories that we only crave about and have only seen in the movies. And if we want a happily ever after as my grandparents had, we'd better wake up and understand what we have to pay to build such a strong relationship and marriage. And somehow I feel that the explosion of personal development has led a lot of people in the wrong direction relationship-wise. Cultivating the idea that you are a whole, that you deserve to be loved unapologetically, that feeling good in the now, it's the most important thing. It's beautiful. But please, make sure that as you embrace all this, you won't become so self-centered that no one will ever feel good enough for you, that no relationship will be worth the fight for you. I feel that people have lowered their tolerance towards life. They have lowered their tolerance towards life and the natural, like absolutely natural challenges that we all face in our intimate relationships. 
And because we have the opportunity to meet up and fuck up so fast in today's society, we feel so safe in giving up on what we have now to find something better. And giving up is not the problem. The problem is the real reason why we give up. The problem is what are we running from? What are we resisting? What we don't want to learn once and forever. When we run out of convenience, what we actually do is choosing immediate pleasure and forgetting that our spirit is rather shaped through the dark times that we confront rather than the pleasures that we live. We forget in those moments that pain is information. Pain is information. And if you're one of those people who apparently have no desire and no ability to stand still in the face of challenges in your relationship, then I invite you to take a deeper look within and understand what are the lessons that you are running from. Because you know what? They will come back at you in a new partner, in a new relationship, until you learn those specific lessons. They will hunt you and they will hunt you. What I've seen in my grandparents' marriage was that a decision was a decision and commitment was for life. And it wasn't a burden, it was simply the only way. And when they were faced with a challenge, they didn't seek for individual salvation, but for a solution together. And that makes the whole difference. And it's something rare in the relationship nowadays. Don't you agree? So today, my invitation for you, my loves, is to dig deeper inside of you and see what are your own beliefs about love and what you are actually willing to do for your relationship to work. Because it doesn't work by itself. Relationships are 100% teamwork. And life together doesn't become easier because it's easy breezy. You don't grow stronger together because it is easy, but because you learn to become easier on yourself and on your partner, because love ultimately softens us all, right? So to wrap it up, my loves, what I want to pass on to you today is that every time you find yourself running from relationships, make sure to question yourself, what are you actually running from? Because that's why a lot of people go through relationship cycles, you know? They keep repeating the same patterns in relationship because when they run, they run from running a certain lesson that they need to learn. So that lesson reappears in another person, in another person, and the pain is bigger than ever and deeper than ever. One of the wisest things to realize earlier in life is that we are always given the people that we need the most in order for us to grow spiritually. And every love has its different stages. So if you want to wake up one day with a house full of children and grandchildren and grand-grandchildren, you gotta stop freaking out about finding the one and becoming the one who is worthy of all this, who has the strength and the discipline to create all this. Because all this everlasting love and perfect marriage, it's way more strategically built than our romantic version of it allows us to believe. It takes years of hard work together to leave this legacy on earth, right? So let's not underestimate the discipline and the strength that love requires to manifest and flourish in this way on this planet. Nothing worthy comes without a price. And if a relationship is stable, it's because you, my love, have paid for it. You have paid for it. You have invested in it truly. So I've learned from my grandparents that love is not easy. But at the end of the day, my babes, it's all that we have, right? And either we choose to go for it with an open heart or with a fear that it will break us, our love relationship will do its job. 
Exactly. Our love relationship will do its job and it will take us home to confront our deepest fears and doubts and at the same time, our deepest strength. And then what we do with it, it's our choice. We can either run from it or stay and allow it to build ourselves anew. I love you and I really hope this video brought a bit more light into your life and it reached your heart. It rang a bell in your mind and in your soul. I'm Alisa. Thank you so much for spending this minute with me. And if you love this video and want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Shameless Academy. And at the same time, if you are a conscious man who wants to love his woman deeper and satisfy her like no one else can, I invite you to schedule an intimacy coaching session with me. Until next time, I love you, stay blessed, and do your woman right today and always.